Kuya is a Turkish coffee experience. Turkish coffee is a huge part of our culture and history. It dates back to the 16th century. It's the first brewing method, and it's something that I grew up with, with my mom making it for me when I was, you know, a teenager. And so I wanted to give them a piece of their home that they left behind. When we were doing the Deeper Roots blend, my mom dueling the Turkish coffee and like the owner of Deeper Roots was saying, you're like, okay, wait, how many grams of like was that? Like what temperature is the, is the water? And like, how, like, how, like, you know, trying to get it as specific and like as scientific as possible. And my mom's just like, oh. <laughs> and um, really we just chose a blend that was very similar to the Turkish coffee in Turkey. And so I wanted to be very intentional about, about the sourcing of the coffee, which I know Deep Roots puts a lot of thought into. Um, I also work with Churchill on the tea and then Maverick on our special uh, Ruya chocolate bar. So I designed the space um, based off of my grandmother's living room. You'll definitely feel like things aren't really matching that much and color scheme is kind of all very um, Turkish, which is supposed to be an open space where you have these like benches and couches and low tables with ottomans. They don't feel like they have to be private when they're having a conversation. They, it's very easy to be able to hear someone else's conversation and um, engage in that as well. Really just, you know, being a safe space for people to be a home away from home. A huge part of uh, Turkish coffee culture is the fortune telling. So when you drink Turkish coffee, the ground settles to the bottom and you turn the cup upside down onto its saucer and then you give it a swirl. While you're giving it a swirl, you, you, make a, you make a wish. And then when the grounds you know, start to drizzle down the side of the cup, they create lines. And those are the lines in which me or my mom will tell you the person's fortune from. In the fortune telling process, people usually end up talking about what they want out of life and Ruya translates to dream. So I didn't only choose that name because it's, you know, I'm an American dream for an immigrant to come here and start their own thing, but also because when they have the platform of Turkish coffee, they end up talking about their dreams, which I think is um, especially close to my heart since I'm a big dreamer in that sense. In terms of like what's next for Turkish coffee in Cincinnati, I think it's all about the experience. I mean, that's the whole point is through um, the community building. Um, but I think people really do love the taste of it, which I was actually surprised of in terms of like how strong it is. Uh, you will definitely be seeing Turkish coffee pop up in cafes and restaurants. I look forward to bringing experience to, throughout all of Cincinnati.